Molokai is a place that loves agriculture. It goes back to our old stories. Tons of taro was produced in our North Shore valleys. We have the largest contiguous reef system in all of the United States of America. One huge 11,000 acres of reef that produce food. And then the Hawaiians double the capacity by building fish ponds. Molokai, if you look on the map of the Hawaiian Islands, we're right in the center. So we always speak from our guts. We always speak from that deep truth. The land is the chief. We the servants. If you can wrap your, 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 your brain around that one, life can be real simple of what is right and what is wrong. Now when you bring in a chemical company turn farmer, these guys say they're farming, but in reality, they're not really farming. On Molokai, the largest employers are large agrochemical corporations, and they generally utilize practices that are not environmentally sound, growing in monocultures, having wide areas of bare soil, which contribute to the silting of our reefs. They're using limited resources of water and land that we need to feed ourselves. Because Monsanto and all of their chemical ways of doing things and the high-tech ways of doing things is seen as a threat to this island. I see Hawaii not as a place where I come and people say Monsanto is the biggest employer, but people say this land, its biodiversity, our cultural heritage is our biggest employer. I'm Jeff Lawton. I've been invited here to teach a permaculture segment of a course. We're, we're, we're working on how we can rehydrate the land, how we can bring it back to life, how we can bring culture back into vitality. Permaculture also teaches you how to build soil. You're not sustainable if, if you're not building soil. We're looking at having a, a local resource for folks to go to where they can get seeds that are produced locally. Swales are a, a water harvesting technique. So as opposed to just having our water run off, we can capture it and infiltrate it into the soil. Today it's blossomed into a larger picture where now I'm thinking permaculture is something that can actually heal the island of Molokai. 